Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Over the past 56 years, the NHL entry draft has become the primary route for teenage hockey players across the world to break into the league. From the highly touted, sometimes generational players in the first round, to the diamonds in the rough and long-term projects in the later rounds, this important event in the league's yearly calendar is the most efficient way to disperse the hockey world's young talent as fairly as possible across the league. However, the event hasn't always been what it is today, and over the last half a century, the draft has seen its fair share of enhancements and changes. Well before the days of bright lights, big stages and sold out arenas, the worldwide broadcasts and international selections, there were six teams in a hotel ballroom in Montreal. With all that in mind, this is the story of the first NHL entry draft. In order to tell this tale, allow me to take you back to June of 1963. Before the draft came into existence, NHL teams would acquire the rising young stars of the future through sponsorships of individual players or whole teams from amateur or junior leagues. This would give the sponsoring NHL franchise exclusive access to pick any or all of the players on a sponsored team to join their roster when they turned pro, but it would limit the players' chances to play in the league as their pro rights were exclusively linked to the franchise that sponsored them. If they didn't impress their sponsor, their chances to make the NHL were all but lost. NHL president at the time, Clarence Campbell, wished to introduce a more balanced setup into the league and give each of the original six franchises as equal an opportunity as possible to acquire star players, which in turn would also give the players a better opportunity to make it into the league, as every team would get the chance to choose the players they wanted and thought best suited their franchise. So, on June 5th, 1963, the first NHL amateur draft was held at the Queen Elizabeth Hotel in Montreal. The rules for this inaugural draft were simple. The six NHL teams would all take turns to pick any amateur player who would reach 17 years of age between August 1st, 1963 and July 31st, 1964. Due to the players still being kids, teams were not allowed to talk to their draft picks about turning pro and joining their franchise until they turned 18, at which point the teams had 72 hours to get the player signed or placed on their negotiation list. Players already on sponsorship lists were exempt from the draft. The order of the draft was selected by giving each team the choice of which pick they wanted based on the reverse order of the league standings. The Boston Bruins finished the previous 62-63 season in last place, so rather than just give them the first overall pick, they were given the first choice on which position they wanted to draft in. Once it was decided, the order would then rotate for next year's draft, so each team would move up a spot with the top team dropping to sixth. The final draft order for the 1963 draft was as follows. The Montreal Canadiens, the Detroit Red Wings, the Boston Bruins, the New York Rangers, the Chicago Blackhawks, and last but certainly not least, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Due to many of the top prospects having already been snatched up on sponsorship deals in the years prior, there weren't a huge number of players available to select and many of those available weren't considered top-tier players. In fact, sponsorships would continue to run alongside the draft until the 1969 draft six years later, when the final sponsorships expired and the league had its first universal draft. Despite this sponsorship setback, there were still some impressive players up for grabs. The first NHL entry draft consisted of four rounds of selection and 24 total picks. However, since teams could defer their pick to the next team in the draft order and choose not to select a player if they didn't want to, only 21 selections were made. 
Detroit deferred their pick in both the third and fourth round, whilst Chicago also chose not to make a selection in the fourth round. Forward Gary Monaghan became the first draft pick in NHL history when he was taken first overall by the Montreal Canadiens, whilst Jerry Meehan became the final selection of the first draft when he was selected 21st overall by the Toronto Maple Leafs. So, how successful was the league's first draft? Did every team get their hands on a future superstar? Well... Of the 21 players selected in the draft, just five of them suited up in the NHL. Of those five players, two of them were named NHL All-Stars, and three were selected by the Toronto Maple Leafs. Despite this small number, all of the five players went on to have very successful NHL careers, as they all played at least 600 games in the league with three playing 748 games or more. Walt McKenchney played the most games at 955, whilst Pete Mavalich scored the most points with 773. Mavalich was also the only player of the draft class to lift the Stanley Cup, which he did four times, all with the Montreal Canadiens during the 1970s. McKenchney was the last player of the draft class to suit up in the NHL when he concluded his career following the 82-83 season, two decades after he was drafted. However, it's interesting to point out that none of the players selected in the inaugural draft have been inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. Perhaps Mavalich should have been given a call by now. He's certainly more qualified than some of the other inductees they have in there. But regardless of how successful it was or not, the league's first amateur draft, back in that hotel ballroom in Montreal 56 years ago, laid the foundations for the yearly event that we know and love today. Without Clarence Campbell's desire to even the playing field and give each team a chance to draft the next young superstar, many of the league's teams likely wouldn't have seen their future franchise players put on their team's jersey, and the overall parity of the league wouldn't have been so competitive. Campbell did many things during his time as NHL president, but introducing the draft was definitely one of his greatest. And that was the story of the first NHL entry draft. What do you guys think about the first draft and how much it has changed over the years? Let me know in the comments below, I would love to hear what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye. A big thank you to Adam Budzizuski, Chris Gadsby, Connor B, Jordan Whitehead, Max Artis, Nat Marlowe, and Paul Malia, as well as a huge thank you to The Legacy for helping support this video via Patreon. If you too want to help support the channel a little bit further, and get a shout out at the end of every future video, make sure you head over to patreon.com slash oddmanrush and become a patron today.